Hello. So, I have just finished with Tier 1 aircraft. Let's go! So I thought what I'd do is I'd put up the... what's well, probably the best game I ever had in a Tier 1 aircraft. This is my P-12, the American Tier 1 fighter plane. And in this game... well, you'll see what happens. It's a pretty good game. So we're on El Haluf, it's a tier 2 game, which is pretty common for a tier 1 aircraft. And I'm gradually climbing over towards the lake here. Spotted High Eagle 51, that's a bit dangerous. A few others lower down. But it looks like I have an altitude advantage over everyone, and the team as a whole has a numbers advantage down this end, so should be a pretty short fight. Just shallow dive onto the high 51 here. And well, yes, it's a tier 1 game that happens. Another P-12 going on. I decide to break off. Let's see if I can't get around them. Look at that. Perfect helping me here. And I'm a terrible, terrible shot. Well, we're sticking on him. Our headquarters is destroyed. An accurate anti-air. Yeah, that's that's better shooting. And kill number one. P-23 is the last enemy aircraft down on the southern end of the map. So we'll go take him out. But this is going to be a 3-on-1, maybe even a 4-on-1 dogfight, so he shouldn't last very long. Though he is putting some damage out on our ground attack aircraft here. Okay, finally starts to pull on, but he turns inside. We'll pull up into a... I suppose it's a bit of a yo-yo, but not really. Come around, just keep turning around, we'll get on eventually. Kill number two. two kind of a bit of a kill steal there, I reckon, but I'll take it. So, I figure I'll go help out our friendly fighter up in the northwestern corner. Eventually, I'll figure that out. Simply because he you looks like he needs help. But if you'll note, the three other aircraft down the south here have decided to go and strafe ground targets. I mean, yeah, one of them's a ground attack aircraft, another one's a heavy fighter, so it's not too bad, but still. In this tier, I'd prefer that they all... well, not all, but they stuck with the fighters as your main objective. Oh, sorry, the killing the enemy aircraft is the main way these games end. And yep. They are still heading out after them. Spotted the enemy aircraft, and unfortunately, they're up very high. I need to go towards our base there, because I figure that's where our friendly heavy fighter is heading. But it looks like he's actually flying straight towards me. So I loop around towards him again. Believe, but because I've taken this detour, I'm actually going to come around behind them. Sort of, you'll see in a minute. See, AO192 up very high, that could be a problem. For some reason, our friendly fighter has turned back towards the west, away from me. I honestly can't say why, but I assume he knows what he's doing. You are losing control of your aircraft. But uh, unfortunately, puts me in a position now where I've got to climb and gain distance. And in a tier one aircraft, that's not a great situation to be in. 
Okay, and our friend has died. So I now see five enemy aircraft directly ahead of me. So here's where I come around behind them. I circle up to the north. They're all heading south towards their own base. And I spot a Hawk 3 is the lowest and closest to me. No, there's a damaged one down lower, but this one's the closest to me. And... Doesn't seem to have noticed me, so I'm going to come in on his tail. But they're all flying away from me. And who's this? A P-12 coming towards me. Alright. Should we get on? Oh, yes, because he's not aiming at me. Now we have aimed. Bit of a high turn. Come around and... He decides to fly straight into the air. My entire team's now dead. So, you know, this is now a 5 on 1 game. The has Managed to kill the P 12, but the now. Hawk 3 is coming into me. So, I evade his fire. Get a few shots into him there. And actually, I miss him, I try to. Then try and get around behind him. And luckily, he straightens out there. He seems to be I'm able to just unload him and take half his health. Coming around again. Oh, more poor shooting. In my defense, I do have 285 pegs, so... You'll have to go easy on me there. Another enemy aircraft is just showing up on the middle there. But... Oh, come on, kill him! I have to kill him quick before his friend arrives. And now I just dive towards the base. But. That's the heavy fighter. The heavy fighter opens fire on me before I can make my escape. And my team is telling me to go hide when there is a heavy fighter 250 meters away from me. But luckily, that heavy fighter is trying to dogfight with me. And I can now turn him constantly. But not the aircraft just showing up on the middle of so I'm going to have to kill him quick so we can find the next one. And a bit of luck there. The other heavy fighter has just crashed. So it is now a one-on-one -on -one game. And I have to evade the Type 91, but not doing a very good job of it. 6 HP left, but luckily he is way down on health as well. And um, this, what you're about to see, is one of the lamest dogfights ever. Essentially, I was just too scared to get shot at, and I think he was as well. So, we do this for a while. I mean, my team has the advantage, we're slowly winning. So long as I don't die, we've won this. So we're just looping, and he's turning, and I'm turning, and we're both shooting kind of nowhere near each other. He's actually slowly getting on my tail, but, well, it's kind of a case of the first one to make a mistake here loses, and I don't want to make a mistake. I'm just trying to keep close and tight. That way if he gets a shot on me, it's not going to be very long. And then watch this. For some reason he rolls left, and I get... Kill. Six kills. Down. And we win. Victory is ours. Which has to be a absolutely fantastic result.